I'm not a very aggressive person or assertive person, so I have a hard time walking up to somebody and saying, hey, I need a kidney, can you give me a kidney, you know? So I figured this was the least invasive way of doing it. And plus my t-shirt, um, I wear it out wherever I go. Um, I've gotten a lot of responses. People putting my car on Facebook and um, the t-shirt brings a lot of attention. And I hand out cards to people who ask me like a self-fulfilling prophecy you know if, if um, the word gets out there then maybe I'll get my kidney I don't want to get into the hemodialysis so what's the difference between the kind you're doing now and the hemodialysis uh, the hemodialysis has um, they put a shunt in your vein mm -hmm. or your arteries and it cleans the blood by rotating it through a machine okay. um, it takes all the toxins out of the blood and then it feeds the blood back into you. It takes about five hours, um, three times a week. And uh, with the peritoneal dialysis, there's no blood mm -hmm. products. It just cleans the toxins out of my body mm -hmm. and I flush it down the toilet. What does it mean to you to have people you've never met before coming up to you and offering to get tested? It was very emotional. Um, I can't, it renews your faith in humanity to have people, a perfect stranger, come up to you and ask you what the problem is and how they can help. And it really made me feel good. For the first time since I've been diagnosed, I actually find that I have hope. Um, people aren't so bad. We leave it in God's hands. It's all up to Him anyways. <laughs>